Hello, my YouTube friend! Wow! Do we have a lot of comic books to go through? That's right, we're doing a mega epic comic book haul. I'm actually really excited to go through all these. I have a big box of Golden Age comic books. I don't think they're in the best shape, but there's some really cool ones in there. I have a whole bunch of stuff I got from my friend Sean. Lots of Silver Age stuff, some modern stuff. An actual box of Silver Age comic books that was given to me. And a couple things from my patron Alex. All right, I'm really excited to go through these comic books. All right, so the last couple of weeks, I've been cleaning up my office to just make more room to film. It took a lot of work. I had to shuffle a lot of stuff around. But I think I have enough room now that over the next few months, I'll be able to crank out a lot more videos. And I want to thank all the patrons that signed up to my mystery comic book boxes. Because of you guys, I'm actually doing this video now. So with everyone that's getting mystery boxes, it's going to motivate me to do more comic videos. And once the weather gets a little bit warmer and hopefully it's a little bit safer to get out there, I'm going to be hunting for comic books for myself and for my patrons. And actually some of these boxes of stuff I got was kind of with my patrons in mind as well. All right. Let's start digging into these comic books. This is a package of 12 comics. I paid $9.90, less than a dollar comic book. I think there was two comic books I wanted out of this collection. Everything else would just be like kind of a freebie thrown in. The package does look like it was a little dinged up, but I think it has cardboard in there and it was protected. So I think we're going to be okay. Sometimes the packaging job, I wish people used boxes and not envelopes, but it looks like they used cardboard to protect it. So hopefully everything's okay. All right, let's dig into this package. Okay, so as you can see, the corners are a bit rough on this. Let's kind of dig in here, see if it looks okay. Hopefully it is. <laughs> uh, comic book packaging in the mail is always, like I'm always worried because no one does it well. I mean, some people do, but most people don't. Okay, so it's, plastic bag with cardboard. I think the cardboard kept the corners safe. Okay, I think we're okay. Okay, so that's what it looks like without the plastic. They put a lot of cardboard in there, so I think we're gonna be okay. All right, let's see what we got. We got a Wolverine 102. This is one of the kind of cheaper comic. Oh, looks like there's multiple comics in there, so let me pull that out. Okay, we got Wolverine 102 not the best comic in condition wise it's kind of beat up uh wolverine number 110 superman number two let's see what we got here girl number one that's actually kind of a cool comic oh that's another batch so basically so far i'm assuming i'm going to try to get a dollar out of some of the stuff uh some of the stuff is just i'm gonna have to bulk sell later on we have a dick tracy that's cool so it's like, I'm hoping to get my money back selling all this stuff. We have a Star Trek comic in bad shape. Alpha Flight number one. That might be like a 2 or $3 comic book. Uh, what do we got here? We got the Invisibles number one. I actually, I haven't looked this one up. That one might have a little bit of value because it's a bowling cover. Uh, it's kind of a cool cover. Uh, this is what one of the ones I wanted though. Okay, so we have Black Cloud number one. I thought this was kind of cool. I wanted that. You know, and the price I paid per comic book, if I bought it new, it would have been $4. So I'm kind of saving just from that. It's not really that valuable, I don't think. Uh, okay, we have Sisters of Sorrow, number one, a Boom Studios comic book. Don't know if it's worth anything, but I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, but this is the main reason why I bought the comic books. We have the cover B of B and Puppet Cat, number one. This one definitely has some value. You know, looking on eBay, I see one or two that sold for like $3 plus $7 shipping. So someone paid $10 for it. But I also see some going for $15 to $20. So this comic book alone is worth more than I paid for everything else. So everything else is kind of a bonus. I want to put a set of all the Bee and Puppy Cat comics together. I have a bunch of them, but I'm looking for the variants I don't have. Uh, it looks like it's in really nice shape, actually. You know, the rest of the comics look kind of beat up, but this one looks very fine near mint. Now it's near me. I don't see any creases or anything on the spines. That one is awesome. So basically I bought the collection for that one comic book. Everything else is kind of like a free bonus. And if I can sell some of it, maybe some of it I'll keep. And then if I can sell some of it and get a chunk of my money back, I'll be happy. Okay, and then we have a Steel Claw. This is cool. What year is this from? I mean, I think it's early 80s. 1986, so mid 80s. The interior coloring looks fun. This is kind of cool. I kind of like this quality comic stuff or any of the stuff that's from the 80s. That's kind of indie, but interesting looking with fun coloring and whatnot. So that's cool. I like that. And I like buying lots like this because I get the comic. I really want it for a good price. And then I get some other stuff like this that I can add to my collection that wasn't really going on my way to get, but I'm kind of happy to get. 
Okay, this is a package of three comic books. I paid $14.50. It was an awesome deal. I bought this because one of my patrons is looking for Doctor Who comic books. And I think I needed one of these three comic books. So when I saw this, I was like, you know what? This is a fantastic deal, undervalued. And I can fill my collection a little bit. And I can find something really awesome for my patron. If you're my patron looking for Doctor Who comics, you might want to fast forward. Otherwise, you'll spoil the surprise. All right, again, an envelope, but it feels like cardboard inside it. So hopefully it arrived okay. Okay, so it's kind of sandwiched onto a bigger piece of cardboard. So even though the corners got dinged a little bit, I don't think the dings hit the comics. Okay, so we have a lot of three comic books here. We have Marvel Premiere 59. I think this is the third appearance of Doctor Who in comic books. This is my Doctor Who that I grew up with. I thought this was really cool. I know I'm missing one or two of the issues. So I think this is going to fill in my collection. Uh, this one looks like a fine plus. The very fine. It has a couple little spine ticks, but relatively good shape. And I think I pay like $5 a comic book. So that's actually a really good price on that. Okay, and then we have 57. This is the first appearance of Doctor Who in comic books. And I see that it's uh, Walter Simonson. So this actually could go to two of my patrons because I have one patron looking for Walter Simons and stuff and another patron looking for Doctor Who stuff so I'm gonna have to decide who to give that to awesome awesome comic uh, I, or I might end up keeping it just because I don't remember this one looks like it's a very fine to near mint copy I'll have to look at it closely I don't remember if the one I have now is as nice as this this is awesome awesome price I think this is a 20 to 30 dollar comic easily maybe more I got this one for a steal awesome comic book and then we have Marvel premiere number 58 the second appearance of Doctor Who this one is also in pretty good shape this one's a little bit beat up so it's more like a fine plus I actually the first appearance is the one that's in the nicest grade that was actually a really awesome lot of comic books. I think I got these for a great price. Awesome. Really happy with those. Okay, let's go through this box of comic books. I'm actually really excited to go through it because it's a complete mystery to me. I Someone just brought it into my shop and donated it to the store, which is awesome. And it's full of Silver Age and Bronze Age, Archie's, Harvey, and cartoon comic books. My wife knew I was going to love opening this box and go through it. She already kind of peeked through it. And she kind of wanted to watch me go through it. Because she knew I'd be all giddy and excited to dig through it. So I'm actually really excited to go through this box. All right, let's dig in. Okay, so we have this box here. I actually did look at the little top stack. There's a little bit of stack that didn't fit in the box that was on the top. All right. And what I saw looked really cool. But let's, uh, let's start digging through this box and see what's in here. I'm actually really excited to go through it. Okay, so this is the first stack I saw. We have Archie's Pals and Gals number 39 from the Archie Giant series. So it's probably Archie Giant 39. Uh, I think this is actually Silver Age. Even though it's a 25 cent cover, the thicker covers, I'm pretty sure this is from the 60s. Let me just double check. And it looks like in pretty decent shape. Yeah, 1966. It's got like a little dog here. There are a couple creases, but it's still pretty glossy. It feels glossy. So, you know, it's a good mid-grade copy. That is cool. When it comes to Archie's, the stuff from the mid to late 60s, you know, they're worth maybe 2 to $5 a piece. Nothing super valuable. If there's anything from the earlier 60s, though, the prices start kind of going up. Okay, we have Jughead, number 140. We have Betty and Veronica, number 167. Love that cover. Uh, Reggie's Jokes, number five from the Archie Giant series. Uh, I think <laughs> my wife said there was one superhero comic book in here, so we have Silver Surfer 4. I was hoping she meant there's one Silver Age superhero, but it was, you know, it's from the 80s, but that's okay. It's the Silver Age stuff that I'm really excited about anyway. Okay, we have uh, Dennis the Menace Giant special. That is really cool. 1965. Uh, okay, we have Untold Legend of the Batman. She's like, oh yeah, and then there's a second one. So I think this was a cereal premium you would have gotten a cereal box i'm sure that has a little bit of value that is really cool jughead 170 so we have a little bit of bronze age here uh josie number 40 okay that's cool i would like to finish putting that set together uh fox and crow number 84 that's cool i'm kind of hoping there's more of the like the dc cartoon stuff or the stuff that's a little bit harder to get that is really awesome. Okay, those I saw already. So I kind of knew what those were, but let's start digging into the rest. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. This is cool. We got Wendy Witch World, number 21. We have some Harvey stuff from the 60s. Absolutely love this era of Harvey stuff. Okay, awesome. Ooh, okay. We have Debbie, number two. That is cool. Or Date with Debbie, number two. Awesome. This is a little bit rarer. Okay. I love that stuff. Okay, we have uh, Debbie Dates, number seven. Very cool. 
Ooh, Sugar and Spike, number 89. I'm actually working on this series as well. Okay, that's fantastic. I'm really happy to get that. Ooh, Richie Rich, number 55. Oh, that is an awesome cover. I love 12 cents Richie Riches because by the Bronze Age, they put kind of like the spine line and it's not as clean of a cover. I prefer the Silver Age Richie Riches just because it's a cleaner image. The artwork's awesome. That's a beautiful comic book. Awesome. Uh, okay, we have March of Comics, the Flintstones. It's like a free shoe comic book. You probably would have got this with the like a buying a pair of shoes. That is cool. I bet that has some value. Okay, we have Walt Disney's Mickey Mouse, 1963. Okay, that's cool. Archie 171, pretty decent shape. Love that. Jughead 124. Uh, Richie Rich Success Stories, number 25. Again, I love the 60s Richie Riches. It just, it looks so much nicer than the 70s ones. Awesome. Oh, sh sorry. <laughs> okay, not in the best shape, but I've been looking for copies of Bunny. These comics are hard to get for a good price. Bunny number four. Awesome. It looks really ratty, but I'm still really excited to get that. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, this is fun. Okay, Richie Rich Millions, number 32, awesome cover. Betty and Me, number eight. This one looks like it's in pretty decent shape. Love the cover. Uh, Betty and Veronica, number 157. Uh, Richie Rich Millions, number 34. Sadly, it's got a tear out of it, but still very cool. Uh, Little Archie Giant Series, number 52. Okay, that's cool. I kind of like these cartoony Archie ones. Pep, 231. Okay, Archie's Pals and Gals, number 37. Okay, then we have one newer Archie. Archie, or Pep Comic 614. Okay, really happy with those so far. That's amazing. Okay, here we go. Some more 80s stuff, early 90s stuff. Not as excited for the stuff. I mean, eventually I'd like to put a set together. I just think the artwork is just not as good. Just doesn't look as nice as the older stuff. Betty and Me, 185. Betty and Veronica, 613. Uh, Betty and Veronica, or Archie Giant Series 611. Uh, oh. Whoa. Doom Patrol 92. Okay. I didn't think there would be any Silver Age superhero stuff. That's amazing. I absolutely love the show. I've been wanting to get Doom Patrol comic books. This is awesome. You have the clock guy from the show. Oh, wow. Okay. That is amazing. Okay, Betty and Me, number 20. That is awesome. Uh, She's Josie. That's an earlier issue. What issue is that? That looks familiar. That's not number one, is it? I don't think it's number one. It looks very familiar, though. Uh, Number eight. That one has a bit of value. This early 60s Archie stuff, 64. Definitely a little bit harder to get for a good price. Awesome. Wow, this is so much fun. Okay, Richie Rich 62. Beautiful cover. Love it. Richie Rich 83, another awesome cover. Archie Pals and Gals, Archie Giant Series number 51. A Betty and Veronica 154. I love this stuff, but a lot of the stuff I do have, the late 60s Archie, so I'm not as excited for it just because I have it already. Not that I don't love it, I do love it. Archie 151, that is cool. Uh, Richie Rich 47, that is awesome. Uncle Scrooge, don't know the number, but that is very cool. Uh, we have a... Yeah, the Avengers TV series comic. That's actually cool. All right, back to the 90s or 80s. Archie 3000, number 10. Archie 161. Okay, that is cool. Life with Archie 87. Oh, another Fox and Crow. That is cool, number 90. I actually really love that cover. I love the blue and just, or the overall layout of it. That is a cool cover. Love that. Oh, come on. Truck set off alarm outside. Uh, I need to film overnight. This is why I don't film during the day that often. And then I get on a bad sleep schedule just because daytime is so freaking noisy. All right. Okay, we have another one of these serial comic books. The Untold Legend of the Batman. That is cool. I got to look these up. I don't know what's valued, but I'm sure it has some value. Jughead 168. Betty and Me number 19. Betty and Veronica, number 162. Love that cover. Pep 226. Uh, Archie Pals and Gals, Archie Giant Series 45. And Veronica and Grease, number 10. Okay, that was cool. 
We're only a third through this box. I'm having so much fun. Here we go. Okay, we got some more 90s stuff. The 90s stuff not as exciting to me, but then when you hit the 60s stuff, it's fun. Uh, Little Archie, Archie Giant Series number 44. Awesome cover. I love that. Little Archie, Archie Giant Series 43. Uh, Pep 185. I kind of like the Archies when they have other than red colors because it's a little bit different. Very cool. Jughead 104. Archie 195. Jughead 116. Archie Annual number 18. Pep 235. Archie's Joke Book 129. I really like that cover. Uh, Laugh 221. Laugh 194. Uh, Richie Rich's Dollar and Cents number 18. It looks in pretty decent shape. Awesome. I love this. I love the 60s Harvey stuff. This is stuff I loved as a kid and I didn't get that much of it. So this is exciting. Uh, we have Lil Lada and Foodland number 20. Lil Lada number 50. Lil Lada 62. Uh, Beagle Boys. That is neat. Bugs Bunny. I don't know the number. A lot of these gold keys just don't have the number on the cover. Uh, Betty Diary, number 35. I'm just assuming the gold key stuff back in the day, they just assume a kid would grab it off the newsstand and it didn't really matter the number. Like, people weren't collecting it. It's more they thought it would just be an impulse buy. Okay, this is cool. We have another one of these Batman serial comic books. I really like these. Those are really neat. Done to Whole Legend of the Batman, number two. Uh, that Wilkins Boy, number one. Oh, I gotta look that one up. I only see two on eBay sold. One went for super cheap. That was kind of a low grade one. And then a mid grade one went for 10. So it's probably like a $5 comic book. Very cool. I don't have it. Happy to have that. Okay. We have Laugh number 211. We got Chili number 10. This one in the corner is a little dinged up. I do like the Marvel Archie kind of like copy ripoff comics. I think these are cool. Love the artwork. Very fun comic book. Okay, we have Archie's Joke Book, number 142. Dennis the Menace, number 80. Archie's Christmas Stocking, number 31, or Archie Giant Series 31. Uh, I really like the cover. I like the colors on their outfits. Uh, we have Walt Disney's Comics and Stories. I'm not sure the number, but that's awesome. Archie and Me, number 28. Uh, Millie the Model, 168. Okay, that is cool. Love Millie the Model. Ooh, okay, yes. We have another bunny. You no, know, I've been bidding on these for the last year or so, and I never win them because they always go for like $20 an issue. So this one's a little bit better than the other. That is awesome. That was high on my want list. Okay, thrilled to get that. Uh, Little Lada in Foodland number nine. Little Lada number 83. Jughead's Jokes number 11. Or Archie Giant Series 11. Archie's Joke Book 137. Little Audrey number 83. Lil Audrey TV Fun Time, number 14. Lil Audrey and Melvin, number 37. Little Lulu, doesn't say the number. Another Little Lulu. Okay, that was fantastic. The last third. Whew, gonna need a break after this box. <laughs> this is fun. Okay, we got uh, Lil Lulu's Clubhouse Special. Richie Rich Success, number 26. Richie Rich number 72. Absolutely love these. Richie Rich number 79. Richie Rich Success Stories number 15. Casper number 86. Love Casper. Casper 102. What a fantastic cover. I love it. And it's white. I mean, it's a little bit dirty, but it's not yellowed. It's a very white Silver Age comic book. That is cool. Ooh, TV Casper and Company. That's a cool cover. Number 15. A uh, little dot. Dot Land number 39. Little Dot number 108. I love that cover. Baby Huey and the Baby Giant. Now, a lot of these have uh, someone's name Iris written on them. I'm okay with that. With older comic books, it actually, it's, you know, having a name written on the cover is not a big deal. It doesn't ruin the value that much. It just gives it a little provenance. It's a lot more acceptable to have a comic books from the 60s and earlier with a name. And I just realized this is a girder. As a little boy, I used to love girders. I would like draw them and I just like seeing buildings being put up. I would have loved this comic when I was a little boy. That is cool. Baby Huey and Duckland. That is awesome. Oh, another Fox and Crow, but this one is chopped up. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd be excited to get it. It looks like a cool cover, but beep, beep. Okay, let's see what we got. 
Okay, two more little handfuls we got left. Okay, we have Lil Audrey and Melvin, number 24. Uh, Lil Audrey TV Fun Time, number 15. Playful Lil Audrey, number 68. That's a cute cover. Love that. Lil Audrey, number 67. Uh, Hanna Barbera Cave Kids. Okay, that's a cool cover. Love that. Madhouse Mad Jokes, number 70. Uh, Madhouse Mad Jokes, number 66. Oh, all right. We got Bunny, number 9. Oh, that is cool. I love these covers. I mean, not it's a little bit beat up, but I'm just so thrilled to have these. I just think the way it's drawn is super cute. Love it. Oh, okay. And then we have Bunny, number 8. I think this is the second copy of this. And this one looks in pretty decent shape. Okay, so happy to get those. Ooh, okay, we Timmy the Timid Ghost. I love these Carlton uh, Casper ripoff or knockoff comics. That is cool. Okay, and Wendy the Good Witch, number 39. Okay, that is awesome. Awesome, awesome. Okay, and then the last handful. This has just been such a great, awesome box of comic books. This is the kind of stuff I love. I love it. Okay, Spooky Spooktown, number 21. That is neat. Spooky Spooktown, number 19. Uh, oh, I skipped one. High and Lois, number four. Blondie, number 182. Beetle Bailey, number 69. Tom and Jerry, don't know the number, but I love Tom and Jerry. Raggedy Ann and Andy. Okay, that's neat. Oh, Binky's Buddies, number one. That is cool. I believe it's a Bob Ostner cover. Awesome. Definitely on my want list. Uh, Chili, number 12. Okay, this is awesome. A Million Model 164. Very cool. Love Million Model. Scooter number 18. Okay, that is cool. Modern Mickey Mouse or 90s Mickey Mouse, 80s Mickey Mouse, number 226. Um, older Mickey Mouse. Don't know the number. Walt Disney Comics and Stories. And Sad Sack, Sad Sack World, number 19. All right, awesome. I am so thrilled with that collection. That was amazing. Okay, this package was 41 comic books I paid $28 for. Uh, I just saw a couple things in here that I really wanted for my own collection. I actually think there's some things I can fit into some of my patrons' mystery boxes. So I thought it was like a win-win kind of situation where it was a good price per comic book. I can get some stuff that I need for myself and some stuff that my patrons would probably want and just some extra stuff that I'll have to sell in my shop. Anyway, I thought it was a good price. Let's dig into this box. Happy these are in a box. Inside, it looks like just they put a lot of like paper wrapping and then the comics are in bags inside. So I think we're okay. The corners might've got dinged. Okay, they had actually padding around the edges. So I think it kind of prevented it from getting beat up. If I remember correctly, this collection just had a lot of fun, like newer uh, image stuff and Boom Studios. Things I kind of like collecting because they're just fun to me. So we have, and off the top of my head, I don't know if any of this has value, but again, I got these for what, 75 cents each. So I'm okay with that. We got Moonshine number two, Moonshine number three. We got Ether Empire number one. Never heard of that. Okay, this is one of the main reasons why I grabbed this was the Motor Crush, because I like the Babs Tar artwork. So we have Motor Crush number one. I thought that was really cool. Motor Crush number two. I don't remember, I might have had one of the two, but either way, I just, I wanted those. Okay, we have a Legendary Dynamite number three. It's a cool cover. Rough Riders, number one. The Thrilling Adventure Hour, number two. Thought that was a cool cover. Thrilling Adventure Hour, number three. So some of these do look like the corner got dinged, but it looks like it mostly just hit the board and the comics are okay. Okay, so we have the Thrilling Adventure Hour, number four. I think there was actually a full set of there. Now, there was a bunch of Doctor Who stuff in here. I think that's one reason why I bought this lot, because I do have one patron looking for Doctor Who stuff. I'm going to keep whatever I don't have if I have any duplicates it's going to him. So I'm going to be looking for Doctor Who stuff. I'm going to look for collections and things with it. And this is cool. It's a second Charles BAM exclusive. So we have Doctor Who number one. We have a Doctor Who one of five. Number two of five. Number three of five. Number four of five. These are really cool. And number five of five. We got, uh, what is this? Knight's Temporal, number four. That looks cool. Oops, these are all upside down. Let me flip them. We got Knight's Temporal, number five. So it looks like some kind of disaster comic. I really like the way that cover's done. We have the Joiners, number one. 
the joiners number two, the joiners number three, the joiners number four. Okay, and then we have the throwaways issue one. That's a cool looking cover. Issue number two, issue number three. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> like the covers don't really tell any storyline. Oh, let me put these. Gunning for hits number one, gunny for hits number two, gunning for hits number three, gunning for hits number four. These are kind of cool looking. Gunning for hits number five, gunning for hits number six. Uh, smooth criminals number one. I thought these covers look kind of cool on these. Smooth criminals number two, smooth criminals number three, smooth criminals number four, smooth criminals number five. I think this is actually, they had the whole series of these. Smooth Criminals number six. Smooth Criminals number seven. Knights Temporal number one. These look cool. I'm going to have to check that out. And Knights Temporal number two. And Knights Temporal number three. So I thought that was a pretty fun lot and a pretty decent price per comic book. Okay, this package comes from my patron, Alex. He had a couple extra, I believe it's Jenny Friesen cover comics, uh, stuff that I didn't have. So I'm actually really excited to open this up. Uh, I think he gifted these to me, but I'm going to end up giving him something back because he's been trading me a lot of stuff. And I think it's kind of fun trying to find stuff that he wants. And so I really appreciated that he just sent me some stuff that I want. So this is really cool. Thanks, Alex. Let's open up this box. Alex basically just asked me if I had these comics. I said, I don't think I do. And so he's like, all right, I'm sending them your way. So I thought that was awesome. Okay, a little note. It says, happy holidays. Enjoy the freezing and some foil goodness. I hope your 2021 is successful and full of comic and collectible videos. Alex. Awesome. Thank you. Appreciate it. We got four comic books. All right, I'm not looking, not looking. Oh, that's a beautiful cover. I don't even know what comic that is. I'm going to have to look at it, open it up. Oh, I guess maybe these are something that's coming to children. No, this is The Unkindness of Ravens, number one. Wow, that is a beautiful cover. That is awesome. Thank you, Alex. I appreciate it. Now, I think this is something is killing the children. Uh, what issue is that? Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. You gave me some fire here. This is number 11. Okay, that is a beautiful issue. Number 11. Okay, and then we have Something is Killing the Children, number one, the foil variant. That is so cool. I really want to put this series together. So this helps. This gives me a bunch of kind of rare issues. Uh, okay, and then we have the Department of Truth number one. Awesome cover. All right, thank you, Alex. I love those. Those are right in the area of things I love to collect. Awesome. All right, let's go through this comic book. I bought this, uh, oh, not too long ago, a couple weeks ago. It's one comic book. I paid $25 for it. Uh, let's dig into it. Let's see what it is. So I think this is the... Only Katie Keen comic for this haul. I haven't been able to find any lately that I like that are at a good price. It's been kind of dry on eBay. Still looking. I probably made people start collecting it with all my videos, so it's getting harder and harder to collect it. All right, this looks very professionally packaged. It's got bubble wrap. It's got cardboard inside. It's like a wrapped cardboard inside the box. So I think I actually had this issue, but this will be an issue upgrade, just condition-wise, hopefully. All right. So we have Katie Key number 48. Absolutely love that cover. I think it's a beautiful cover. And it looks in pretty good shape. It's probably like a very good plus to a fine. Uh, maybe a little bit of a crease. I'll have to take out the bag to really look, but I don't see any major damage. So that is awesome. Really happy with that. Very cool comic. All right, let's go through this package. It's 10 comic books. I paid $18, so $1.80 a comic book. Uh, I'm excited to see what's in here, so let's dig in. So this one, the corners are a little bit beat up. People like to use these flat rate envelopes. As long as you put solid cardboard inside to kind of protect the comic books, we're usually okay. But sometimes they get dinged up. Oh, this is perfect. It's like they used uh, a Gemini style mailer inside the envelope. Okay, that actually works out really well. I actually need to get some of those legal envelopes for my own comic shipping. Oh, it actually is a Gemini mailer. <laughs> Not just a Gemini style. It's an actual Gemini style. All right. Again, this is kind of like a random lot. It had a bunch of sort of cheaper stuff. And then a couple of things I really wanted. So we have Ultimate X-Men number 21. This is one I have already. This would be a hard sell. Maybe get a dollar out of that. 
Uh, New Mutants number 84. That's actually a kind of cool comic book. Ah, okay. So this is one of the reasons why I bought the lot. We have the Deceased number one. It's a Peach Momoka cover. I really want to get a bunch of their artwork or all the covers they've done. So I just, I'm going to try to get them in lots like this where I get them relatively cheap. I mean, even if I paid cover price is probably a good price on this. And since I paid this, basically I paid $1.80 a comic book. So this covers the cost of two or three of the comic books in the lot. So I got like one or two comic books for free, basically. Uh, okay, we have Thor 463. Then Indestructible Hulk number five. Again, a lot of this stuff, you know, I'll get a dollar each album eventually. Some of it I might have to sell cheaper. Some of them I might get a little bit more. Uh, Superman Action Comics number 719. Uh, Batman Superman number 4. I think this is a Jay Lee cover. I think one of my patrons likes Jay Lee, so I'll see if they need that or not. That is cool. Uh, Superman 223. Red Hood Outlaw number 31. That's actually really cover. I love these modern DC comics where they have basically a clean cover, which is very low. I like the design. Very nice. Very clean. Uh, oh, okay. So this is the other comic book I wanted. It's Batman Adventures number five. I know the Peach Momoko cover. And it looks in really good shape, actually. I thought these might be beat up, but I don't see any spine ticks. So they do look like very fine denierment covers. That is cool. So again, this would probably, you know, 510. Uh, I bet if I bought these individually on eBay, I probably would have paid up to the $18 for the pair. If I got them at the comic shop, still paying $10, $11. So I'm actually really happy with that. Uh, Invincible Iron Man number 11, variant edition. That is cool. And then X-Men 201. So, you know, some cheaper stuff. But I think overall, I got good value because I got two awesome covers for a good price. And then just a whole bunch of other stuff that maybe I'll get some of my money back. All right, awesome. Or I might need a couple to fill in my runs. All right, we got this package here. It's like a weird bubble wrap around a bag you know what it was it looks like they used a priority mail envelope and they used it inside out so that they could ship it medium mail i think although it feels really solid like a solid piece of cardboard uh but it was eight comic books for 23 dollars 33 cents so like three dollars a comic book i think there's a couple in here i really wanted and just some extra filler stuff anyway let's open up this package it was just priority boxes which are usually pretty flimsy but they i don't know it feels solid I don't think it looks like the comics are centered, so I don't think the corners got dinged. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, so one of my patrons is looking for Scotty Young stuff. So I figured I'd try to find collections that have Scotty Young stuff in it that I might need. And then if there's a duplicate here or there, then he can go into his mystery box. So we have a Marvel one point number one. Very cool. Love Scotty Young. A uh, Rogue and Gambit number it's cover. I think it's number one. It's a fried pie variant. That is cool. I actually really like that cover. We have a Phoenix Resurrection number one, a fried pie variant. That is cool. Uh, Secret Wars number six. Oh, that's a Babs Tower cover. Okay, so I might have bought the collection basically for this cover because I love Babs Tower artwork. And then everything else is kind of like a bonus. A three dollar. You know, if I bought this individually, it probably would have cost me five or six dollars. We have a Deadpool Defenders variant number eighteen. And, uh, oh, okay, and then this is the other comic I really wanted. It was the Babs Tar Silk number two variant. I think this is like a five to $10 comic book. So between these two kind of cover, you know, I probably would have paid 10, $15 just for these two. So everything else would have been super cheap. Very cool. Okay, and then we have a uh, Gamora 150. I'm not sure if that's even the front cover, I guess. And a X-Men Legacy number 225 90s variant. That's actually a really nice cover as well. Okay, so that was actually a pretty cool lot. I think it was a good price because if you take... Yeah, what is it? You know, if I take the two out, I paid like 15. That leaves the other six for 10. So I paid like $1.50 a comic book. And then I paid like maybe 5 $6 for the two I really wanted. That's actually pretty awesome of a lot. Okay, let's go through this package. I think I paid $40 for this comic book. It was a little bit higher than I should have, but I used Macari credit to buy it. So basically I got it for free. Um, and I I was talking to my patron Alex as well, and we were talking about Sabine Rich artwork. I really love her artwork. So I decided to go on Macari. I knew I had some credit this time. I was like, all right, let me look on Macari, see if I can find any really cool comics that she's done. And I got this comic book. It's pretty cool. All right, let's dig into this box. 
I love this. So we have a virgin variant of Silk. I don't know the number off the top of my head, but uh, Sabine Rich artwork. I love her pencils. I love the way she draws hair. I think the overall composition of this cover is really nice. I like how the building's at an angle. So it's like a little bit more dynamic. Absolutely love that. And I love the way she does coloring. She does a lot of coloring on the J. Scott Campbell covers. She's done a lot of Frank Cho covers lately. So she's really good at coloring. But I really love her pencil work. I would like to see more of her work in comic books. So I'm thrilled to have that. Okay, so this box comes from my patron Alex as well. It's a graded comic book. He bought a mystery box. I think it was like a $100 mystery box. He's looking for like a Green Goblin key possibly is like a one in 30 chance he got this book he didn't know if it was worth the hundred he paid and it had a sticker on it and he tried to remove the sticker and he kind of scuffed up the case so he was like really down on it uh but i saw it. it's a bob hope comic book it's like a really fun old school cartoon comic book i thought it was cool it's uh, i think a 6.0 so it's actually graded pretty high for this specific comic book so i thought you know what alex i'll trade you a hundred dollar value of something else that you want and so he's like all right cool so it worked out that i'm getting a cool comic book and he's going to eventually get either some cool comic books for me or a funko pop or just something else that he wants all right let's dig into this box i'm really excited to go through it now he was cleaning the case and he thought he just ruined the value because the case got destroyed but you guys know me, I'm not really a, you know, I have some graded comic books, but to me, the comic itself is what's important. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, I see the graded comic book, but it looks like he has a Gemini mailer. I think he put a little bonus in there. Oh, Alex, you spoil me. Okay, so there's a little uh, bonus pile of comic books. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm excited. And he did a really good job shipping out. He was afraid of the case cracking, but it looks, you know, it's lots of bubble wrap, lots of protection. All right, so we have a Bob Hope number 10. Let me see if I can move the camera up a little bit. It had a price sticker on there and he used the little acetone to try to clean it off and he didn't realize the acetone would actually eat into the cover. I think I can actually repair that a little bit. I think I can use a little plastic polish and it'll take the white right out. So I think we're okay. That is cool. I love the cover. I think it's funny. I love the way the girl is drawn. She looks really cute. Bob Hope looks funny. He's about to get attacked by these three dudes. Uh, I love it. And a 6.0 is actually a pretty high grade for this comic book. I don't think there's too many that high. So I thought that was really cool. I think $100 is... It might be worth more than that, actually. So $100, I think, is a really good price on this. And the condition is really nice. So thank you, Alex. I really appreciate the trade. Now I just have to find you something awesome that you want. Ah, oh, I love it. That is so cool. Okay, <laughs> we got a mystery box here. Don't know what he added. I'm guessing it's just more beautiful covers. Maybe more Jenny Friesen stuff. Maybe something else. I am not sure. Very well packaged bubble wrap taped to the Gemini so it doesn't move around. Awesome job packaging. Oh, one thing I'm going to mention, Alex, the way you bubble wrap this, bubble wrap is designed the bubbles on here should always face the object because what happens is when something's protected, the plastic underneath touches the item. So if something hits it, let's say like a, a scissor or something, that will actually touch the item and it can damage the item. Like if something hits right here, there's no protection. If you always put the bubble on the bottom facing the object, it means that the plastic sheath is cushioned. So it has a little bit more protection. That's just the proper way bubble wrap is used. Not gonna look, not gonna look, not gonna look. Let's look. Oh, okay. He mentioned the series Die. I have a couple of these, but I think I'm missing a few. Wait, let me move this back down. That's a beautiful cover. All right, so Die number 14. Oh, a Vampirella number 12. Beautiful cover. Uh, we have a Horizon Zero Dawn number one. Another beautiful cover. That is an art germ cover? Yeah, it's art germ. That is beautiful. Oh, and then Mercy number six. That is a very beautiful cover. I love the way that is done. Awesome. Thank you, Alex. I appreciate it. Those are four awesome comic books. Okay, I'm going to owe Alex some fun stuff because that is amazing. Let's open up this giant box. I was contacted by Matthew, oh, like a month ago. Yeah, I think just around a month ago. It's a whole bunch of Golden Age comic books. Not the best shape. They're all kind of lowish grade from like fairs to maybe good pluses. There might be one or two very goods mixed in there. Um, but what it was, there was a couple of rare ones that kind of made up the value. So everything else would be kind of free. 
It was $210 for, I believe, about 70 comics, so $3 a comic book. All right, let's dig into this box and see what I got. Okay, these are all bricked up in bubble wrap with backer boards. Oh, this is a lot of golden age. All right, another brick. Okay, three bricks. Those are hard to get out. <laughs> all right, brick number one. Uh, this is pretty well packaged. I like the bubble wrap. He's got all the comics kind of taped together with masking tape. Masking tape is the best tape to use when you're taping things together because it's easy to remove. Some people use packing tape. It's terrible. All right, so these were $3 a comic book. A lot of them weren't in the best of shape, but I think a lot of them are kind of rare. Wait, let me move the camera down a little bit. They're rarer comic books from the golden age. So I think even at $3 a piece in lower grade, they're still pretty awesome. So we have, uh, I believe this, yeah, Fawcett's Funny Animals. Love this. I would like to put this series together. I love any of the funny animal comic books. Awesome cover. Uh, definitely spine rolled, beat up. Still pretty cool comic book. And like I said, I think there's two or three comic books that make up the majority of the value. So a lot of this stuff, I paid $3 a piece, but in actuality, it's all kind of like thrown. Okay, Funny Animals, number 56. I love the Marvel Bunny or, yeah, it's Hoppy the Marvel Bunny. You know, Shazam basically as a bunny. That is cool. Love that. Okay, this is uh, Army War Heroes number 20. So this is uh, Silver Age. Not as exciting to me. Funny Animals number 12. Very beat up, but very awesome comic book. Uh, Felix the Cat. Don't know the number, but that is cool. Love Felix the Cat. Oh, funny folks. Love funny folks. I had a bunch of these. Not a bunch, but, but like three or four maybe as a kid because my grandma used to give them to me. So that I really love. That is cool. We have uh, Frisky Fables, Volume 2, Number 9. This one's actually in pretty decent shape. It looks like a good plus to very good, maybe even very good plus. I'd have to open up, take a closer look, but that's awesome. I love the cover. This one, when you get comics like this, when you buy a big lot of Golden Age, if you get a few kind of higher grade ones, it kind of makes up for the damaged ones. Like this one probably five ten dollars easily so that kind of pays for three or four comic books so that's really cool okay we have real fact comics number 18 i think this one has a little bit of value that is cool uh okay authentic police cases uh is there a number on this i'm not sure the number i have to see how strong i don't know if it's brittle or not but that is cool i bet this one has some value let me look that one up that one's beautiful yeah, I had a hunch this might be a Matt Baker cover, which is amazing. Like I said, I think this is one of the ones that has the most value from the collection. I'm going to look at this one carefully because I'm seeing uh, even low grades like a fair going for 100 bucks. And this one looks pretty decent. Let's see how the staples are. Uh, staples are attached. It's a little bit splitting right here, so it's, you know, not mint. Uh, it's a little brittle here, but overall, that's easily a good plus, I think. That is amazing. I gotta double check that. Interior artwork looks awesome, too. Like, a lot of this old stuff is not labeled, so you're not sure. I think that's a Matt Baker. If that's a Matt Baker, that is amazing. All right, wow. Like I said, I paid two ten for everything. I think that easily is a hundred dollar value. Okay, I've been really wanting to get some Matt Baker stuff, so I am thrilled to get this. This comic alone, you know, pays for half of what I paid, and it's one of the reasons why I jumped on this lot. I actually just recently bought this book called Invisible Men: The Trailblazing Black Artists of Comic Books. It covers a bunch of black artists who drew comic books back in the golden age. They were hired by third parties because they, you know racism and all that the the black artists kind of had to hide their identity so i just wanted to learn more about the history of the golden age comic books and the black artists and especially matt baker i love his artwork i think it's so cool so this wow <laughs> that is awesome thrilled to get that uh okay we have popular comics number 23 and well, you know what else also the condition is pretty decent on this like a lot of these are torn up this one is in great shape you know, for that age, love it. Okay, popular, well, I do have to look inside and make sure I'm not missing any pages or anything, but love it, that is cool. Okay, popular comics number 23. That's an awesome Halloween cover. Love old school Halloween stuff. Uh Oh, funny folks, okay. This is funny folks number three. 
when I sold my comic book collection in the 90s, I kept two comic books. I kept a G.I. Joe number 21 because that was the most important comic book to me because I had a hard time learning to read and it was just really special because you could go through the comic book without reading it. And I kept the Funny Folks number three that my grandma gave me. It's one of the only, it's actually the only comic book I kept that my grandma, I have it somewhere. I don't know where I put it. It's been a while since I've seen it. But this is just giving me all the warm, like I'm getting a little emotional. That is cool. I love that. Okay. Oh, this is cool. Okay, we have Pep Comics number 90. We have some Golden Age Archie stuff. This stuff's hard to get for a good price. Even beat up like this, it's easily a $10 to $20 comic book. So I'm really happy to have that. Uh, okay, we have Gabby Louder and Funnier number five. That's a really cute cover. I love that. That is cool. We have another Felix the Cat. It's a Dell comic. They usually don't have the numbers on the cover. So I don't know the number on that, but that's awesome. I love that stuff. Uh, okay, we have another Felix the Cat. That is beautiful. We have Pogo Possum number. Uh, it's a Dell comic. doesn't say it's chipped a little bit, a little bit beat up, but that's an awesome cover. Absolutely love that. Uh, Funny Films number 18. That's cool. I love the old school cartoon stuff. That's cool. Okay, Funny Stuff number 74. Love that cover. I just love the coloring on it. Okay, that is awesome. First stack, first little bundle. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> I'm actually, this is fun. This is amazing. Okay, bundle number two. Oh, I get a little emotional. Think of that comic book that my grandma gave me. I miss my grandma. Why did I collect this old stuff? Yeah, when he sent me pictures of the stuff, a lot of it looks so beat up. So I was just like, ah, I wasn't sure. I actually tried to pay a little bit less on them. But, you know, if there's enough of those comic books that are worth 10 20 30 it kind of makes up for it and then the stuff that is beat up is still rare golden age comic books so it still has value it's still worth owning it's still awesome so we have the funnies number 39 a really cool world war ii cover that is cool it has john carter of mars inside i kind of want to look inside and see that uh, that's the cool thing is when you buy beat up comic books you can open it up and not you know i paid cheap i paid three dollars so i'm not really worried if i accidentally damage it a little bit while looking through it i am enjoying it and being able to enjoy it is cool we have alley oop so i think these are reprints of oh the wonder the wizard of oz that oh these are cool these are all reprints of sunday funnies but still very awesome that's very cool okay all right i love this old stuff it is fun okay we have gabby haynes western number 38 Gabby Hayes, Western number 47. Uh, feature Comics number... Is it number 12? Not sure if that's the number, but it has Dollman on the cover. I bet this one has a little bit of value too because any of the kind of like superhero stuff, especially with a really cool, creepy cover like this, definitely has value. And I mean, it's probably just a fair. Looks like it's kind of beat up. But overall, the cover, you can kind of enjoy it. That is cool. Felix the Cat and His Friends, number two. Okay, that's awesome. We have Felix the Cat, number 162. Love Felix the Cat. Felix the Cat. Don't know the number, but that is awesome. Love the cartoon stuff. Uh, Freddy, don't know the numbers. A little bit of Silver Age. Gabby Hayes, Western, number 14. Don't really like the Western stuff that much. Uh, funny Stuff, number 56. That is awesome. Do love the cartoon stuff. Uh, funny stuff number 28 that's awesome the funnies number 58 this one probably has some value as well even though you know it's taped it's in terrible shape it's still more of a superhero or action comic book that's gonna have more value even though it's in bad shape it's still awesome very awesome happy to have that uh funny folks number 15 that's amazing i love the coloring and the overall composition of that cover that's cool gabby hayes western number seven uh, Gabby Hayes Western number four. Funny Animals number 33. Love this. The Funny Animal covers. I really love them. I just love whoever's the artist that did these. These are awesome. Very beautiful. Uh, feature Comics. Uh, oh, number 116. There's the number. I'm thinking that's the number. That's the number. So another Dollman cover. So this one definitely has some value as well. Even though it's not in the best shape. It's got some tape and all that. Pretty sure this has a big chunk of the value I paid. That is cool. Uh, Funny Animals number 32. Absolutely love this cover. Beautiful cover. 
I need to get more of the funny animals. I'm going to work on that. Uh, well, I just got a bunch of them, but I need them in a little bit better green. All right, funny animals number 30. Funny animals number 31. Uh, Felix the cat number 94. These are all beautiful. Felix the cat number 95. Uh, okay, we have another feature comics, number 107. I'm pretty sure all the feature comic books with Dollman on them are going to have value. Which is awesome. I want to get a lot more Golden Age superhero type stuff. It's so hard to get it for a good price. Yeah, I saw one in a little bit worse grade sell on eBay for $22. So it's like a $20, $30 comic book. That's pretty cool. Okay, we have Peter Rabbit comics number two. Really enjoy that cover. I love just, uh, just something interesting about it. Lots of just fun things going on lots of action wonderful colors love the way the name is written that is cool uh okay we have funny book number seven so this is probably just more i mean a lot of the early golden age stuff is just reprints of the sunday papers still cool love that uh okay so this is another reason why i jumped on the lot even though this is in bad shape it's Susie, I think number 49. It looks like it was written on. It's kind of fallen apart. But this is the first comic of her in her own series. Before this, it was uh, like funny something. There was a name to it. I forget the name of the series. But in issue 49, it switched over to Susie. So this is a key issue. Even in this shape, I think this is probably like a $40 to $50 comic book. So I've been wanting to put Susie together. Even though... I would like a better copy. It's just fun to have one for now to fill in the collection. And then later on, I'll get a better one. But for $3 a comic book, that's an awesome price. This pretty much pays for like 15 of the comic books, which is also awesome because if I do get a better copy and I sell this for $40, $50 down the road, it pays for a bunch of other stuff I'm keeping. So it also gives me a budget to get a better copy later on. That's why I kind of like buying collections like this because you never know. You always get a little bit of extra value when you buy in bulk. Awesome. Love it. Stack number two is really nice. Okay. Finally, we have one stack. These feel kind of more uniform. So I think this stack was mostly silver age stuff. So this stuff uh, I, at $3 each is probably a little bit higher than I would want to pay. But again, like I said, there's a few comic books that kind of pay for everything. So in essence, I got this stuff for free or super cheap. And it's still awesome stuff. We have Tomahawk with number 117. Uh, Metal Man number 29. Love Metal Man. A uh, Shadow, number five, one bronze comic book. Blackhawk, 168. Uh, I do like these racing comic books from the Silver Age. I always think they're fun. So Grand Prix, number 20. Hot Rods and Racing Cars. Uh, don't see the number on that. Wait, do you write on the back? Yeah, number 67. This is Hot Rodders, number two. So I think $3 a piece actually on these is actually okay because these are pretty awesome. Dragon Wheels, number 38. Uh, Dragon Wheels, number 56. Hot Rods and Racing Cars, number... Uh, I don't see the number, but it's 10 cents, so it's going to be an early Silver Age, late Gold Age, Atomic Age. That is cool. Uh, Hot Rods, number 60... What is it? 61? Hot Rods, number 61. Hot Rods, number 63. Okay, those are actually really cool. I'm happy to get those. Uh, okay, we have Shadow Comic Books. Uh, is there a number on this? Number 10, or Volume 6, number 10. Bad, bad shape. You know, it's shipped and all that. But I think even in this bad shape, this still has some value. Again, it's the, the superhero, the kind of more mystery or horror stuff. This kind of stuff is harder to find for a cheap price. So that's awesome. Uh, okay, we have Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis, number eight. Absolutely love these. I know I have a few from the earlier, but and it's not in the best shape. Still very happy I have it, though. That is cool. Uh, Demons, number 16. Love Bronze Age era horror stuff. That is cool. Fox and Crow, number 28. That actually looks pretty awesome. There's a $30 price tag on the cover. I don't know if it's a $30 comic book, but still cool. Happy have it. And it might have some value. Uh, okay, Fighting Army number 118. This one, you know, dollar two comic book. These aren't really that valuable. I still love them, though. I love this era of, you know, war and horror and genre stuff. Romance. Fighting Army 125. Fighting Army 127. Daredevil 153. I love Daredevil from that era. 
Uh, GI Combat 166, GI Combat 167, uh, Losers 145. So normally if I was buying these, I'd probably pay like a dollar to a piece on these. Star Spangled War, number 167. Uh, Star Spangled War 174, Star Spangled War 182, uh, Heroes Inc. Uh, forget the name. I think this is a one shot. Awesome Hollywood cover. This was a comic that was printed and was not really distributed. And sometime I think in the 80s they just found them, and there was like 5,000 of them in absolutely perfect condition. So they said Gem Mint 10. I don't know if it's still Gem Mint 10. I have one or two copies already. Awesome comic book, but not even though it's in such high grade, it's not really worth that much because there's a lot of them out there. Absolutely love that comic book, though. Uh, Fighting Army, number 128. Uh, Fighting Marines, number 106. And Combat Kelly, number 7. So the third stack is kind of cheaper stuff, but still, even if they're worth $1 to $4 each, let's say, like some of these, like this one looks in pretty decent shape. It might be worth a little bit more, maybe 4 or 5 bucks. I still think I got a really good deal just because there was enough really high-end value stuff. I think these two comics alone, probably like $150 value. Maybe even a little bit more. I'm not sure the exact grade on this one. I'm seeing like 2.0s going for 100. This might be slightly better. This might be a 3. So if that's the case, this... And it looks really presentable. There's no, you know, a couple little creases here. But overall, awesome. Awesome. Thank you, Matthew. I really appreciate you selling me these awesome comic books. I have this box of comics I bought a few weeks ago. I paid $100 for it. It's a lot of like New 52, not in the best condition. So it's not really that exciting of a collection in general. But I got one modern key that's probably worth two to $300. That it's not in the best shape. It's probably only a very good define. But even in that condition, it's two to $300. And as a comic I've been looking for for years. And I am thrilled to have it, even though it's kind of lower grade. So we're going to blast through this box really quick. I don't really want to spend a lot of time on what's in the collection, but I kind of want to show you what a collection that's $100 kind of looks like. And we're going to see the one key that I got that I'm so excited to get. All right, let's dig through this box. Okay, so I have these box of comic books. They're all kind of beat up. It's a collection someone bought and read and enjoyed. So you can kind of tell that. So normally I probably wouldn't even want to pay more than like 25 cents at most a piece. But there was one key issue. So let's, I'm going to blast through these really quick. I'm not going to read the numbers or anything. I'm just going to show you the covers. Give you an idea what was in the collection. I think there might have been some minor keys mixed in. But the condition was kind of bad on these. Yeah, I mean, there's some cool stuff. It probably still has some value. Just like this, Venom number two. That one actually, I probably, if it was, you know, a very fine near mint copy, it's, you know, 10, 20 bucks. Love this cover. But, you know, it's got little creases. It's, all those comic books were not bagged and boarded. He just bought them and then you read them. So that's cool, though. This Venom stuff is actually really cool. Venom number one. The Amazing Spider-Man, like, these would have value if they were in better shape. I still, I can probably still get $2 each out of them. But, just because they're beat up, they're not going to be an easy sell. Maybe a dollar each on all of them. And then some stuff like this just doesn't have any value. I'll just, I'm going to stop. I'm going to blast through these and just stop on any. Oh, that's a kind of a cool cover. I'll stop on anything that I think has more value. If you see anything that has more value, you let me know. You know, and it's still worth buying a collection like this. Because, you know, if I put Captain America comic book... It's not terrible. It's a little bit creased up. Put it out for like a dollar, dollar fifty. People will buy it just to have it to read it. You know, so it's not completely worthless. Although something like this would probably be hard to sell. That's a cool flash cover. Yeah, so again, this is all like this comic, if it was in nice shape, you know, it's a five, ten dollar comic book, but in that shape, dollar, dollar fifty. So it's you know, some of this I'll probably end up putting into my collection if I need it. Frank Cho cover, that is cool. But, like, uh, Michael Arrow, Jay, and Silent Bob comic, this is awesome. It just, it's in bad shape. That's a really awesome cover, actually. I love that one. Batman. That's kind of a cool cover. Undetectables. I don't know this comic book at all. No, I'm not familiar with the artist, but that looks cool. I like that. Omega the Unknown, that's actually a pretty cool cover. Omega the Unknown, I do like those. Just gonna blast through these again. Just because I'm sure you guys are interested to see what a collection like this has in it. 
because maybe you'll see a collection like this and you're like, oh, I don't want to buy it because it's so beat up. But I'm going to show you the one comic book that was in the collection that made it worth it. And again, I paid 100 for 150 so I paid, what, 60 cents on average a comic book? So if a lot of these I sold for a dollar fifty, you still make some profit on it and kind of cover the ones that you want to keep. Although something like this in this condition, uh, I'm probably going to have a hard time even getting a quarter out of that just because it's beat up. And then stuff like this is just cheapo stuff. I love that cover, though. The beautiful cover. And the thing is, this is stuff I wouldn't want to put in my patrons' mystery boxes just because it's so beat up. I want to try to give them at least, you know, stuff that's fine plus minimum. But most I would like to do is very fine to near mint if I can. Final Crisis, a couple of those. Oh, that's a cool cover. I like that cover. That's cool. Batman stuff. And you know what? Some of the stuff I might need in my collection just to fill it in for now until I find better copies. But all the new 52 Batman, this stuff was on fire years ago. Not as much anymore. These are all, you know, the white, you can tell the ink were all rubbed and transferred. Okay. All right, that's cool. Mm, anything jumping out at me as exciting. I like the covers on this series when they came out. It's a pretty cool cover, Jim Lee. Yeah, just filler. A lot of filler stuff. This is the kind of stuff that I might not even sort into my collection. Just because of condition. Those few Venoms at the beginning there were cool. But a lot of this Frank Cho cover, that's cool. Oh, okay. This is, I think, one of the few that actually had some value. So we have Flashpoint number one. That is cool. I'm going to actually put that there. Flashpoint number two. Flashpoint number five. Okay, back to the cheaper stuff. Batman 10. Although, again, if I put these out for $1.52, people will buy them just because it's a cool series. Buy them to read them. Not really to collect them for their quality, but to consume them and enjoy them. Okay, Batman 7. It's kind of cool cover. Okay. Mm. And then you have Malibu comic books. Really, no one's looking for those. I mean, they're kind of cool, but not really. I mean, I want a set for my own collection, but I'm not going out of my way. I just, as I get them, I kind of just put them into my collection. But I don't go out of my way to get them. That's a cool cover. Love the Jim Lee stuff. All right, small thing. Uh, all right. Just going to blast through all of these. See if there's anything that jumps out as exciting and fun. I mean, a lot of them have great covers. I'm sure I haven't read a lot of these, but I'm sure a lot of them have great storylines. But there's not... Oh, I love the artwork on that one. Is that Jenny Friesen? Yeah, Jenny Friesen cover. Yeah, that's beautiful. Love that. Love Jenny Friesen stuff. Ah, uh, Dead Guardians. Young Avengers number four. Kind of beat up, though. Vertigo. American Vampire. Okay, yeah, just blasting through those. Okay, Captain America number 11. So this is a series of the first Winter Soldier. I still need to find that issue. It's one of the few keys I need. One of these days I'll get a collection like this and I'll have those in there. Thor. The Great Ten, that's a cool cover. Oh, it's Art Germ. Okay, I thought it might be Art Germ. Too bad the corner is dinged. All right, well, uh, Animal Man 8. X-Men. Uh, it says, yeah, Jim Lee. I love the Jim Lee covers. Okay. I'm sure there's a few in here that might be a little bit minor keys or have value, but nothing's jumping out. Oh, I like that cover. Cool cover. Anytime you draw Wonder Woman in an awesome way, I love it. Okay, just blasting through these. Yeah, okay. Okay. 
Uh, American Vampire. This one looks like it's signed, actually. That's actually pretty cool. Swamp Thing, Swamp Thing. Swamp Thing. I do like the Swamp Things. Doom Patrol, that's cool. Daredevil. Just a little dark. Yeah, I'm just blasting through these. I'm sure some of you would want me to go slower, but to me, it just it's so beat up. Ah, oh, see, this is a key issue, but in such bad shape. I think this is the first Cape Bishop cover, if I remember correctly. Probably still has some value beat up like that, but still, it's a little bit sad. It's okay. I didn't really buy the collection for that. I do like this Omega, the unknown covers. Those are awesome. Like this night, fear itself. Jilly Wolverine, that's cool. Uh, I think that's an art drum cover. Brian Boland cover. Uh, Arthur Adams cover. Love that cover. Okay, that's all those. Last handful from this collection. Uh, Moon Knight number one. That's actually probably, you know, it's in good shape. That probably has a little bit of value. Uh, Alex Ross cover. That's cool. Just the League Society. Oh, Godzilla number one. Not sure who the artist, but that's beautiful. Wow, all the details in the buildings and Godzilla. That is a cool comic book. I'm actually really happy to get that. Batwoman number one. That probably has a little bit of value. That's a beautiful cover. Another Omega the Unknown. Love these. Uh, Michael Allen Daredevil. That is cool. You know, some of the stuff, like this Spider-Man, might have 2 or $3 of value. That's actually in slightly better shape. Some of these are a little bit better than I remembered. Young Avengers number 11. Uh, Thunderbolts, Action Comics 1, Flash, Doom Patrol. I do want to get all the Doom Patrol comic books because I absolutely love this show. Young Avengers 5. All these Young Avengers are cool, but they're all kind of beat up. I do have them already in my collection, though, so I'm not as upset as I could be. Uh, Savage Sword number 5. Okay, that's cool. Okay, you guys ready for the key issue? Easily makes the $100 price of steel. It's right here. It's a reveal. I've been looking for this comic for like 10 years. I've been wanting to find it in a collection or somewhere cheap. I didn't want to pay full price. Full price, even in this condition, is like two, three hundred dollars. So basically, I kind of bought this for half price ish and got everything else for free. That was kind of the plan when I bought this. All right, let's see what we got. We got NYX number three, first appearance of X-23. So happy to have it. Has a lot of spine creases, crease here. It's overall just kind of beat up. But even in this condition, like I said, it's probably at least 200 bucks. Happy to finally have a copy of that. Awesome. Okay, let's go through this stack of comic books. This comes from my friend, Sean. He sold it to me a few days ago. It's paid $128 and there's some awesome older Silver Age comic books, a lot of modern books and some stuff. Actually, I think one comic book he picked up for me specifically because I asked him to get it. Because he basically goes to all the comic shops all over the city, almost maybe twice a week. I don't know. He's always hunting comic books. So he finds the coolest stuff. All right, let's dig through this stack. Well, I have this little collection of comic books that come from my friend, Sean. I paid, uh, I believe $128 for everything. He brings me comics so often. I get a little overwhelmed, but I love it at the same time. Okay, we have Suicide Squad number seven. Awesome cover. Eternals number six. Awesome cover. Uh, Green Lanterns number 38. Uh, Walking Dead 178. So a lot of the stuff he buys at Book Off for a dollar or other comic shops or other places for a dollar. So he finds some pretty awesome stuff. And this is from, I think there was like a series of blind bags. Oops, it's on the other side. And then we have The Governor, Walking Dead number 177. I don't have those. That's awesome. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 793. Awesome cover. Strange Fruit number one. This is one of his favorite comic books. I think this is the second time he's actually sold it to me. <laughs> cool comic book, though. Love that. Uh, Thor 364. Cool Walter Simonson comic book. I need to sort these because I know my patron Sean likes Walter Simonson. And I have a bunch of duplicates. So that's something I got to work on. Adventure Comics 317. Pretty awesome comic. I think it's the first appearance of Dream Girl. Not in the best shape. Still a very awesome comic book, though. Uh, Moon Knight number six. Superman number nine. Awesome cover. Mystic Funnies number one. Awesome Robert Crumb comic book. Love Robert Crumb. Uh, Wonder Woman 207. Bondage cover. Very awesome comic book. 
that's what he does is he'll pepper in a few like semi keys or better comics and then some newer stuff and ah uh, he knows how to get me to spend money <laughs> he brings me so many cool things okay amazing spider-man 226 love that cover awesome comic book uh this one i love this one fantastic four number 84 this one is in such nice shape. It has a, maybe a couple very light ticks on the spine, but it's a very fine denouement copy of a Silver Age Fantastic Four. Absolutely love that comic book. Awesome. Okay, we have uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 64. Another awesome comic. It has a couple of like bits of damage in the back cover. It has a big crease on it. Still a very awesome comic book. Very happy to get that. Uh, comic shop news. He always gives me all the comic shop news as he grabs <laughs> he grabs one of each and then I get them. Uh, Justice League. I forget the number. This is the one with the clear cover. That's cool. G.I. Joe number 99. Daredevil 300. Alias number 22. Star Wars Knights of the Republic Volume 1. Uh, Blood Syndicate number 2. All this uh, milestone stuff is starting to go up in value. So that's cool. Black Panther number 2. Screaming Horror number one. Masters of the Universe number one. That's cool. Oh, this is the new uh, Gwendolyn versus Carnage. That is cool. This has a lot of really cool covers on all the different variants. Uh, Star Wars seventh printing. This one's actually got some value to it. It's, I mean, a lot of these have value, but this one's kind of hard to get. More comic shop news. Uh, Suicide Squad 42. Awesome cover. G.I. Joe European Missions number six. Captain Marvel number 12, Captain Marvel number 2, Captain Marvel number 9. I think the two Silver Age comic books were all, where a lot of the value was. Uh, Captain Marvel 11, Captain Marvel 10. Disney Autumn Adventures number 2, really cool Halloween cover. Love the Halloween covers. Uh, it's a really thick issue too. Uh, Ultimate Fantastic Four, these aren't really worth that much. Avengers Halloween Special. Just give me the Halloween stuff. X-Men number 7. Batman 48. Cool. Frank Cho cover. Love that. Doctor Strange 25. Very cool. Green Arrow 45. Captain Marvel 3. Captain Marvel 4. Captain Marvel 5. Captain Marvel 7. I have all these. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 103. That is awesome. Number 102. Awesome. Number 104. Awesome. Avengers 130. Avengers 123. Do love the Bronze Age Avengers. Uh, Moon Girl number 17. Love that cover. Hulk 197. That's a cool cover. Uh, New Love number 2. Okay. Uh, Harley Quinn Road Trip Special number 1. Love that. Dawn number 1. Avengers number 36. Oh, it's a Fortnite cover. I didn't realize that. Oh, that's cool. I really want all the Fortnite covers. Awesome. Thanks, Sean. Appreciate that. Jungle Action 23. Awesome cover. Uh, oh, okay. We have Future State. Uh, I forget the issue. It's Peach Momoko cover. He was at the comic shop. He showed me a picture of it. Like, yeah, I want that. So he grabbed it for me. I gave him the $7 he paid. Absolutely love this cover. Awesome cover. I really need to get more of Peach Momoko's artwork. Or comic books. Those are awesome. Okay. Superman 682. Very cool cover. Powers of X, number five. Uh, Justice League versus Suicide Squad, number one. Katana, number one. Uh, oop, some kind of advertisements. Not sure what that is. Uh, Black Panther, number four. I actually really like that cover. I thought that was a cool cover. Uh, Gwenpool, number one. I have to double check if this is a duplicate because I think one of my patrons wants Gwenpool comic books. Uh, Gwenpool, number zero. Uh, House of X, number six, variant edition. House of X number three, Red Heat number one, Sonic the Hedgehog number two. Love the sign. Oh, this one's signed too. That was really cool. Uh, let's see. The Batman Who Laughs four. Very cool. Ooh, Umbrella Academy number six. This one has a bit of value. Also comic book. Avengers versus the Justice League of America. All right. So that's everything that was in that little stack of stuff for a little collection. Definitely love the Silver Age stuff. Let's go through this box of comic books. This is multiple purchases from my friend Sean over the last like month or two. I probably end up spending about four to five hundred dollars on everything in this box. It's a lot of cool Silver Age stuff, a lot of modern stuff, just a lot of stuff that he's picked up from the dollar bins that's worth a little bit more than a dollar, or just some stuff that I just decided to clear out. But I'm excited to go through this box, show you guys all the really awesome comics I got from him. All right, let's dig through this box. 
Okay, so this box of stuff is stuff I bought for my friend Sean over the last few months. You know, usually he'll bring in like a hundred dollars worth of stuff at a time, just not to overwhelm me. But after a few months, it does add up. Okay, let's see what we got. Again, he usually throws in like a few really nice keys or older Silver Age stuff, and then a bunch of other things mixed in. He kind of kind of mixes up the variety to make it fun for me. Look, okay, we have heavy metal. This is uh. Let's see, July 1978. I'm not sure of the issue. I love heavy metal. I do want to pull a full set of these together eventually. I love all the cool sci-fi art. I think it's amazing. Uh, Star Wars Darth Vader number six variant cover. Spider-Man 44. The Amazing Spider-Man number 31. It's a Marvel vs. Capcom cover. Uh, some kind of Pokemon thing. Trinity. A couple of those. Alvin and Chipmunks. Trinity. All right, this isn't as exciting. Oh, this is... Uh, this is, I think, the second print of the proposal issue of Batman. These are all upside down. Okay, we got Luba, number eight. Lovers and Hector, number five. Petra, Luba, and Fritz, number six. Uh, cool Adam Hughes, Betty and Veronica, cover number one. My Little Pony, number 50. Uh, Scotty Young, Fantastic Four, number 25. I do need to find a bunch of Scotty Young stuff for my patron. Uh, oh, this is—he kept enticing me. He would bring in like one Wonder Woman each time. <laughs> so we have a nice Silver Age Wonder Woman, number one fifty-six. Love that. That's awesome. We have a uh, Captain America, Peggy Carter, Agent of Shield. That's cool. Uh, oh, my wife needed a calendar, so he brought a couple calendars in for us. Uh, Spider-Man number two, Jim Lee variant. I think this is a reprint of older artwork because this looks like an old school Jim Lee. Uh, Fantastic Four number eight, Wolverine number one. That's a cool cover. Oh, that's a thick comic, too. Okay, King of Black, number three. It's, oh, Marvel Spotlight. Okay, Fantastic Four, 147. Marvel Comics Presents, number five. I believe this is the first appearance of uh, Spider-Man-related character. I forget which character. Definitely has a little bit of value. Let's see what we got. Uh, okay, we have a 10-cent DC comic book. That is awesome. We have Action Comics, number 237. Very sweet. Wonder Woman, 130. Again, like I said, I kept bringing in a Wonder Woman every like few weeks. <laughs> I love it though. I want all the old school Wonder Woman. Fantastic Four number 61. Love this cover. In pretty decent shape. It's probably like a fine plus. Love it. Uh, Strange Tales 112. First appearance of the eel. I don't know if that's anything of important. I don't know if he's going to show up anywhere. But still a very awesome comic book. It has a little bit of a water stain in there. But other than that, it's actually not too bad. Very happy to have that. Captain America 122, very beautiful condition. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 62, love this cover. This one's water damage. I have a pretty decent, very fine copy of this already in my collection, so obviously I'll end up selling this one eventually. Uh, I do love this cover, though. I think it's such an awesome cover. Uh, Avengers 83, this is the first appearance of Valkyrie before she's Valkyrie. It's, uh... uh was it the Enchantress dressed up as Valkyrie, I believe? Either way, it's a key issue. Definitely awesome. I do have a very fine copy of this as well in my collection. So, again, that'll end up being sold. Oh, more calendars. <laughs> calendars galore. Okay, Eternals, Never Die, Never Win. It's like a free comic book. A Miles Morales, Ultimate Spider-Man, 16.1. Number 13. Number 15. Another one of these calendars. I guess these are free. Uh, Moon Knight, number 3. Grim Fairy Tale, number 110. Nova number seven. Oh, the Granoff cover. Love it. Uh, Amazing Spider Man 203. Grimm's Fairy Tale number 96. Fantastic Four 159. Fantastic Four number 68. Pretty decent condition. Awesome cover. Fantastic Four number 73. I right, love those. Oh, this is cool. So I really, really want to get a lot more of the Nicardi stuff from the. Silver Age, Early Bronze Age. So Aquaman, Teen Titans, etc. So this one I really wanted. Uh, Aquaman number 38. Nick Hardy, I love the way he's just really good at composing a cover. He really tells a storyline in one image. This is awesome. I love that. Uh, Wonder Woman number 148. Absolutely love this cover. I love the hot pink. It just everything about it. She's in like a toy store fighting. The only problem with this issue is it has a tape pull right there. Which, uh, other than that, it would have been like a fine condition. A little upset at the tape pull, but that's okay. I got it for a good price. Love that comic. Awesome. Okay, more Nick Cardi goodness. Aquaman number 43. Absolutely love it. Ah, I love it. So good. 
Okay, Batman 184, awesome. Flash 125, do love all this old stuff. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 66, absolutely love this cover. It's in relatively good shape. It does have these lines here, but these are like a printer flaw where the paper got like a little fold in it. So other than that, it's actually not that bad. It's definitely a solid mid-grade copy. Absolutely love that. Amazing Spider-Man number 54. I absolutely love old school Spider-Man. So these are all awesome. Amazing Spider-Man number 57. Flash 132. Sadly, this one has some tape on it. Or the tape's in the inside. But still awesome comic book. Love it. Flash 282. New Agents of Atlas number 2. I need to get all the variants and all the rare copies out of this series. Very cool cover. Love it. Uh, Ultimate Spider-Man number 200. Spawn 302. Batman 89, this is, uh, is this the first full appearance of Punchline? Uh, I forget. Definitely a key issue, though. It has some value. I do have a couple copies of this. I don't know if I'm rushing to sell it yet, but I probably should sell one of them. So, I love the cover. Cool comic. Okay, let's see another stack. Got Future States. A couple of those. All right, more Nick Cardi goodness. I love this cover. I think it's just such a beautiful cover. Not, not in the best shape. I need to find a better copy, but... I'm just happy to have this for now. I do want to get more of his comic books. I just, I love the composition. Uh, it tells a story, you know, Mira and Aquaman are getting captured by, I guess, the Huntress. Huntress looks cool. Her hair is like floating around. Her hair is floating around. It's, it's just everything. He knows how to draw a beautiful cover. Okay, World's Finest, number 113. That is cool. Love the 10 cent DC stuff. Uh, Captain America and the Falcon, number one. That's fun. X-23, number 10. The Flash, 249. Uh, Spy Island, number 1. Batman, 3 Jokers, number 1. That's cool. Metal, number 2. Absolutely love this cover. Awesome, awesome cover. I'm, this might be a duplicate. I think one of my patrons collects uh, John Romita Jr. I gotta double check if that's a duplicate or not. I love that cover. So good. Okay, Batman, number 7. Bart Simpson's Treehouse of Horrors, number 9. Love these. Those are cool. Dark Knight 3, The Master Race, uh, book one. That's cool. Another one of these. I guess those are free, so I grabbed a bunch. The War number 15. The War 701. Star Wars number 3. The War 705. Uh, another copy of The Proposal Issue. David Finch cover. Love it. Number 24. That's the second print. All right, another stack. Okay, we have You're the Villain, Hell Arisen, number one, the blank variant. Does look like some color transfer happened to it or something. Uh, Moon Knight number seven. That's cool. David Finch. Uh, Peter Parker, Spider Man, Venomized Villains number four. That's kind of cool. Uh, Hulk 207. Hulk 194. Hulk 184. Hulk 190. Do like these Hulks. Hulk's 186. Hulk 198. Hulk 159. He's been kind of getting out of all his Hulk comic books. Embla number uh, issue two. Looks like a European comic book. Weird comic book. Flash 284. Flash 264. Siege number three. Really cool variant cover. X-Men Gold Venomized Villains number 11. Hulk 203. Uh, Batman Dark Detective Vote for Me or I'll Kill You by the Joker number one. That's cool. See who we got. Uh, Roger Rabbit number 18. Bag's dirty. I gotta change that bag. Marvel Team Up number 27. Love that. Hulk 282. Crossed. Not sure the number. Uh, Batman Hush issue number 611. Love this cover. Awesome Jim Lee cover. Absolutely love that one. Uh, the Flash number 80. Very cool cover. Hulk 164. Hulk 170. Hulk 158. A Force number three. It's like a Mexican variant. Love this one. That one's awesome. Uh, Grim Fairy Tale short story collection, I guess. Not sure the number. Uh, Maestro number one. I think this reprints the original appearance of Maestro. Very cool cover, though. Love that one. Uh, Flash, the fastest man alive, number one. Sonic the Hedgehog 229 variant edition. I think this one has a bit of value. Flash 48, awesome cover. Hulk 169. Hulk 161. Hulk 210. Okay. All right, some more of this future state stuff. 
All new Avengers number three variant cover. Love that. Uh, Fantastic Four 58. I love the Silver Age Fantastic Four. These are amazing. Amazing Spider-Man number 71. This one has some water damage and like a crease. Still awesome though. I love the old school. I love all the old school Marvel stuff. Anything from the Silver Age is awesome. Strange Tales, the 108. Love that. Marvel Academy number five. Awesome. Marvel Tales featuring Thanos number one. Okay, there's some pretty awesome stuff in that handful. Okay, last handful from this box. Lots of fun stuff. Okay, Mockingbird number one. Street Angel number five. More of these future states. More calendars. <laughs> he overloans me with the free, free stuff. Uh, Captain Marvel number 18. I believe this is the issue where... I'm not sure if the Mandroid or the robot hits Captain Marvel with the big cosmic ray and it kind of passed through him into Carol Danvers. So she gets the powers and it gives him cancer. So that's a key issue. Very awesome comic. Uh, Avengers number 260. Detective 871. I believe that's a jock cover. So that has some value. Captain Marvel number 26. It's a Thanos cover. Definitely has some value. Captain America 110. That's awesome. Action Comics 323. Love that. Uh, 100 page Flash Giant number one. Where are these free future state? He gave me a lot of those. Uh, this is the first appearance, I believe, of. Uh, I'm drawing a blank. By Echo? Is it Echo? I think this one has a lot of value, or the value is gaining on that one. Uh, this is super cool. So, this is. Oh, what number is this? Okay, so this is something is killing the children, number five variant. This one definitely has a lot of value now. I think it's like 75 to 100. Very happy to have that. That is cool. And then Silver Surfer Black, number four. Awesome cover. The Batman Who Laughs, number one. Uh, more comic shop news, freebies. Uh, Black Widow, number one. J. Scott Campbell variant. Sabine Rich colored. Love Sabine Rich. And The Flash, number 13. Okay, all right. So that's everything he sold me in the last couple of months. Absolutely love all these comic books. I think they're awesome. Okay. All right. I'm so excited to finally have this comic book. I think that I've been looking for this thing for like 10 years. I didn't want to pay 200, 300, 400, 500. I've been waiting to get it cheap in a collection or find it out like a dollar bin somewhere. So I'm thrilled to finally have this. Uh, I want to thank all my patrons that signed up to get the mystery comic book boxes. That's going to allow me to do comic book videos more often. I'm hoping to do at least two comic book videos a month now because of the mystery boxes. And as more people sign up to the mystery boxes, it'll be easier for me to do more comic book videos. I'm going to put a couple of other mega epic comic book hauls right there. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.